and now it is time for Nordex. So to the rest of the moon. <laughs> Denmark is shameless as per usual. With his Lego, it, it was pretty obvious. His Lego hand, even better or worse, depending on your your view. Why should I be nice to him, though? Is the Nordics coming up or excluding Denmark? Or am I just going to be alone up here? That, that'll be unfortunate. Norway's frozen. Ironic. It, it, it is Scandinavia. The rest of the Scandinavians aren't up here either, so... Is my mom going to be here? No. Iceland had an emergency, so Scandinavia went with him. Yeah, the fridge. Ooh, I can say what it is because it's past 5pm. Yeah, he got his, his, his um, thingy which he stuck in a fridge. Specifically, my fridge, which is awkward because <sighs> fridge. I'm being vaguely appropriate. <laughs> vaguely appropriate. It's your constant state of being. Welcome, Norway. Is this why I'm not here? Yes. Is that why Iceland's not That's here? That's why Iceland's not here. Also why Mother isn't here. Okay. Because she was supposed to show oh. up today. Mother, Scandinavia, she was supposed to show up today, but um... Oh. Yeah, and I saw Denmark's doing things. So. Denmark's getting ready for a date, so... Not quite sure what that means. What? On another Lego day. I think so. We we may need to have an intervention at some point. It's, it's getting out of hand. The time we've been abandoned. Here. Exactly. It's it's unreasonable. Like you you have the entire rest of the month to go on your Lego dates. Can't, can't you just set aside this one hour? All right. He does have oh, a date with you, True. Okay. That that. As long as it's not Lego, it's acceptable. <laughs> yeah, Lego Lego is not acceptable for dates. Yeah, it was funny at first, but it, it's scary now. It's... It's... Something... Hello, by the way, I didn't respond. Hello. It's, um... Kind of therapist-worthy at this point. Like, three times is... You need to go see a therapist. We'll give him one more chance. This is Finland not showing up. Um, I haven't heard anything from Finland. I'm gonna try and get in contact with Finland and see if they're showing up. Oh, look how And I that's classified as dressing up for a date. I couldn't find my better sweater, so I had to go with this. You don't wear a sweater on a date. I'm sure Ukraine will adore it. Sorry for eating. It's okay, I will probably also eat since I have food right here. 
I ate like an hour ago. So. Well, they do call me Danish. Oh, I don't know what's up. Very Danish of you. Yeah, well, you are Danish. So. It's not just the label. <laughs> I am. You are literally a Danish. Physically a Danish. There we go. See, this will be casual, and then I zip it up on someone. So, I felt good. Don't. You like me saying if I un. It's it's like okay Denmark I'm gonna I have, I'm, I have something on underneath okay I'm I'm glad Whoa. Denmark <laughs> this this is casual okay this is what would be classified as casual if you were wearing a dress shirt however you are not wearing a dress shirt and you are wearing a sweater so therefore it is casual no matter what the hell you do <sighs> I'm making do I'm trying my best. And I feel very attacked right now. Your regular uniform is more dressed up than what you're wearing right now. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm not wrong. Hello. At least your regular uniform is a tie or something. Exactly. On occasion, when I feel like it. We're trying to help you here. Yeah, we're we're trying, we're trying to, to give you some good dating advice. <laughs> I do have a sailor's uniform. It's over there. Do you even sail? Are you just a fake fan, no way? No way is the one true fake I fan. I mean, Norway was the one who did the Vikings, which are the most known sailing civilization. Denmark. <laughs> a bit. Only a bit. And I don't know how it is on your screen, but on mine, I'm between the two of you, so I'm just yep. surrounded by eating. <laughs> Sorry. Some brothers have, like, minor eating. We have synchronized eating. That's what we do. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that would be messed up in restaurants, though. Like, when, when we go out to to public restaurants as as the five of us that would just be really odd because both me and Denmark would be eating exactly in sync and the rest of you guys just eat normally and then it's just like the two of us. <coughs> it's a different tables like a you're the one who suggested this. I think we can blame you. <sighs> Terrible. We're gonna wait so I don't syn synchronize with Denmark again. You can't play <laughs> I can. I can just not eat while you have it. Cats are good for cats. I, I don't know why, but like this whole situation was at the same time reminding me of the board game. Like just on the different teams sitting at separate tables. <laughs> it's like racing to finish. And then Sweden's just done and like, come on guys, pick up the pace. Yeah, like, oh right, that, that that board game we did over Skype yeah. and I'd like I kept I was so far oh, after yeah. the finish line. I just kept going because no one else had finished. <sighs> it was bad. 
And then Iceland caught up to you, and, and we just had Finland trapped at the back. <laughs> yeah. That was that was a great team you building really exercise. Killing. You were killing Denmark and I, and yet Finland still couldn't get ahead. Yeah. I feel slightly unloved by the fact that Iceland goes and gets his thing stuck in a in fridge, and Mom rushes over there. It's not here. He can do that himself. He's done it before. Well, maybe, maybe she was like, "Well, my three eldest are responsible. It'll be fine. I should go to the youngest." I mean, I don't know why she'd think that with Denmark being one of the eldest, but. Because we we yeah, we can look after him. We can look after him. Maybe maybe Norway can look after him because because Denmark could um, yeah. It's a rather odd question. <laughs> Have we actually done any of the questions? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> we just didn't. Um. Oh God, no. This is okay. what happens. I get up and we forget we have questions. We're not allowed to swear anymore. Why? Wh which one are you looking at? Um. Okay. And there's a there's a child. Uh, there's the aunt question. Oh. Oh. Um. What do you think of your oh, aunt, Bruce? She's um. dead. She's pretty dead. It's pretty accurate. Yeah. I mean, fair, I don't but... believe in my lifetime. She's dead. But <laughs> that and um, they yeah, they they'd stopped talking to each other by the time we came into existence. Yeah. I oh. don't think we ever really met her. Found out that she existed until after she was dead. Yeah. So maybe you didn't talk about her. Converting to Christianity will do that to someone, and then we did it to mom. That was just awkward. We should move on. Different topic. The next one was cut cats. It was a, have you ever cuddled a cat? I have cuddled a cat. Cats are good. What? Cuddling cats is a great cuddle size. The question: Have you ever turned into a cat? And I was like, oh. <laughs> That'd be awkward. And then all the time. And then it was Norway. Yeah, would you be. rather? <laughs> would you rather date Denmark or not see Iceland again? Which was a weird question. Why are you doing this to me? Well, I'm the one seeing Iceland from Norway. <laughs> what? Yeah, just like date me, or you can't see your brother. <laughs> True, true rents. <laughs> um, I mean, technically Denmark's going on a date with Ukraine later, so that'd be awkward to say. In fact, it's it's but in an hour. Like, <laughs> exactly, like right after this. So. Do I really have to answer that? Because I mean, I want to see Iceland again. I'm not going to cut him off. I mean, I might if he keeps doing things with fridges, but, um... Might need to I host intervention for the fridge as well. As well as yeah. the Lego. We need to keep them apart. I, I guess I would go on one date and just, like, reassure Ukraine. Don't worry, it's for my brother. Oh, I just saw no, you don't have to. Okay. Well, let's just take that back then. <laughs> um, when was Finland disowned by Finnick? When did that happen? Um, it didn't. I don't think so. <laughs> it didn't. Yeah, she, she disowned Hungary and, and Deesti because they were brunettes, but I don't think she disowned Finland. Because he, he's rather Unless blonde. He died of her from then. Then, then she might. Do I know what my name means? Which name? 
bear. Oh. <laughs> bear. Thanks, Sweden. Please don't make it Sweden. Please just don't. Yeah, yeah don't tell me don't. if you please. Don't. He's my brother. I do not want to do anything with my brother. <laughs> the only thing we have in common is synchronized eating. Um, <laughs> It's not a basis on a date. That's it, that's it. So. <laughs> what do you both have in common? We eat at the same time. <laughs> Alaska, I highly recommend not doing this while my child is in the chat. <laughs> no. Alaska, I think you got it the wrong way around. It wouldn't be every day, every night, because that's like swimming. <laughs> <laughs> the country name of Swenet. <laughs> you have been reborn, Sweden. <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to be oh, Mr. Swenet. Oh, well, I wanted my acronym to be so weird. Running, running, away with, running away with Mr. Swenet. <laughs> Let me Google that real quick. <laughs> oh my god. What are you Googling? Running away with Mr. Sweathead? <laughs> um, Matthias means gift of the Lord, gift from God, and I think that's- LOL, what a, what a lie your name yeah. is. We've got to have a talk with Mum. Yeah. Mum really misnamed him. Oh, it's the favourite. I told you. Since oh. when were you the favourite? Oh. <laughs> Maybe iPhone's the favourite, you know. It would explain why Mum's not here. Yeah, she is going to help iPhone with a problem. So yeah, I think based based on that that consensus, Iceland is the favorite. Or at least one that needs mother the most. Mother knows best, but yeah. <laughs> Iceland vision. Right, I think I think we should, you know, send a prayer to Iceland because this is the second time mother knows about him doing this thing. And, um, I'm not sure if you remember what Mother did to us when we were younger, but... <laughs> I think well, I mean, I'm a there are laws now. So... Mm -hmm. I mean, there are laws again, you know. But, but Iceland's technically an adult yeah. as well, so do those laws really apply? <laughs> I found a hard place she says to me, like, oh honey, here, let me help you open the fridge. <laughs> Opening yeah, fridge is what, what good. What did I do? What? Oh. Uh, someone just went, no way, what good? I'm like, what did I do? You started a fight with Nicki Minaj. Shameless. Thank you, 13 Night Owl. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying. I mean, Burwald means bear. Sure. Actually, Burwald means bear ruler. <laughs> I just looked it up. <laughs> I am the ruler of the bears. <laughs> what kind of bears? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. It either means uh, bear ruler or bear forest. 
I mean, the forest full of bears or the king of the bears. But I just checked, like, three different sources, and whoever, um, yeah, my name apparently does mean, like, the... That works, though. I'll take that. With your hair, and, you know, it works. Because he's blonde? I mean, we're all blonde. <laughs> but... I'm I don't know. Named by my hair, mother, mother just had a had a moment, like like when she named um, Denmark uh, God's gift. It was just a moment. She might be senile in her age. She was young then. <laughs> <laughs> was mother ever song, ever young? Sorry, I was reading something. Um, probably. I don't know. I mean, I already do dye my hair. I dye it blonde. To fit in. <laughs> I have been doing so since the Viking Ages, so it isn't... Unusual. New. It's like, why is, why is everyone blonde enough? I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. I felt really left out, so... <laughs> Look at my eyebrows and you'll see. Webcam just did that. Forever remember the mustache. <laughs> no. <coughs> Not black. Brown. Sealand. Sealand, stop, stop swearing. Or else, I don't know, you'll be grounded from anime. You watch anime. Right? That's the thing. Great parenting. Great parenting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mangoes? I'll, yeah, I'll take away your mangoes and animu, um, and maybe some of your, your, your games. Your Vidimo games. Yeah. You Don't swear. You a cardboard land for a week. <laughs> that cardboard box with your name on it, you'll have to sit in there. I will bring you food, but you have to sit in there doing nothing for a week if you continue to use language which isn't appropriate for your age. I know you do, son, but if you're gonna be inappropriate, you need to be in the box. I try. What am I trying? Am I trying to punish you and uh, I brought up the box thing. Nora can do better. I thought that was just a general statement. I was like, oh, <laughs> You don't use magic on a 12 year old. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Those days are gone. You're physically 12, though. Ow! Shut up, Steven, you're like 12. <laughs> well, I mean, it's always a kind of destined that he turned out at least a bit like England, because England is his parental figure. Or was. He, w he was created by England. If it weren't for England, there would be no England. As no. much as he hates to admit it. I mean, admittedly, with, with Finland and I's raising techniques, He's not likely to turn out to be England. Also, the fact that we haven't rated He's him as a Viking is important. He's what not gonna go attacking places that aren't his, basically. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's a little sea fort, what can he really do? But, we're raising him better. I mean, he has like one gun on his board. Yeah. Oh, I know. You could do some damage. A little bit. Yeah, where did you get any word from Finland? Uh, Finland's down in the chat. I forgot that this is the Scandinavia chat and not the Nordic, so therefore Finland will not show up <laughs> up here. Because oh, I'm. That. Like, when I came up and you're like, hey, and I was like, yeah, I can't yeah, remember things. Yeah. I have terrible memory. 
and I I wasn't even here last time because I forgot and I was like, oh yeah, what's going on? I'm in Belgium. <laughs> By the way, I watched that. Thank you for all the Belgium jokes. You're welcome. We we had to. It's like how we're we're talking about you know Iceland's problem and Scandinavia. When they watch these, they'll be like, "Thank you for mentioning that." Except Iceland will probably squeal because. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. God. All right. No, no, thank you. We, there is no tree sitting. <laughs> In fact, let's just get rid of all trees. So there will be no. No! no, no. We will. Trees are our main oxygen source. I mean, I know you may be weird down in Denmark, but you know, there's such a thing as the the environment. And trees trees create oxygen, which is what we breathe and live. So if we if we destroy the trees, we die. I know you really love conspiracies, but you're gonna need to turn it on. Hold <laughs> I know you think that that oxygen comes from like the Eiffel Tower or something, but Denmark, trust me on this. Trees are important. <laughs> Okay, I know, but Norway is very important for trees. There are a lot of trees in Norway. We need them. Alright, ship them somewhere else. Keep them, keep them where they are. Just, like, make sure I apparently don't go near any of them. Just give Norway, like, an allergy to trees or something, and perfect. Norway won't go near trees. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Okay, do not give me an allergy to them. Don't give me an allergy to them, because I, as you just said, I have so many trees. I will not be able to go anywhere in my country. Exactly, I'll just stay in my house all day, like, I'm scared of everything. It doesn't feel like a concrete house, too. <laughs> oh god. Because <laughs> wood. Um, okay, well, just keep the trees where they are, and tell Norway not to sit in them with Belgium. Okay. Is that okay? We can ban Belgium. Ban Belgium from, from where? <laughs> where are we banning Belgium from? Norway. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I thought yeah, you meant like. <laughs> I wasn't yeah, sure. I, mean, I was planning to go back. Apparently not. Sorry. So so I can't go to Belgium in October. Uh, you might be able to. As long as Belgium doesn't come to Norway, you should be fine. Sure. Fine. Go to with someone else, too. Yes, Australia, you're still my Valentine, I promise. Denmark's been ditched. I have my own date. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark ditched us, okay? So... Truth. Sorry, our synchronized food eating romance was not meant to be. I just couldn't do it. How could you? You you betray my heart, Denmark. You betray my heart. No, you don't. Stay away from me, please. My son is in the room. Thank you, Vendetta, by the way, for the comment about... Yeah, being in Belgium. Okay. Um. I I'll come to with you, Romania. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, Australia. Oh God, I'm I've been invited to many places. You're so popular right now. <laughs> <laughs> then we won't need to ban Belgium from Norway if your Norway's not in Norway. Belgium can go to Norway as long as I'm not there. <laughs> Apparently so. Oh god, I've got another invite. 
I might just stay at home now. I might just no, buy a good plan. Romania. <laughs> huh? Romania says you can't come to Romania now. Yeah. You've been banned from <laughs> Romania during October. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm going to go without any closet. It's literally over there. I don't. I don't think I. I. I want to go to Alaska. No offense. I'm sure Alaska's great, but I have that cold and that north in in my own country. So I, I don't need to go to to Alaska to deal with the same temperatures and conditions. Okay. Um. The Aussie boy. I'm not sure you know this, but pale-skinned people do not fare well in, um, in, in places like Australia. Wow. Yes, Denmark does slap down sunburns, that's the reason why I do not want to get one. I slap sunburns? Yeah, like, you'll hit what? someone else's sunburn. Oh. Okay. I was really confused. Was like, is there a person named Sunburn? <laughs> <laughs> but you hit people when they get sunburned. <laughs> Slappable sunburns. <laughs> um, I'd be up for a vacation in Ikea. It's a regular vacation spot. I don't think it's a vacation if you already pretty much live there. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yeah, like every day is a vacation. Exactly. Every day. That's the best kind of vacation. If every day's no, vacation, you don't want to stop. Problem, <laughs> I admit that I have an, a furniture problem. I have admitted that multiple times. It's just easy to make furniture. It's my stress relief. Making furniture is my stress relief. Most people like play chess. I think for you, you are the only person who gets stress relief from building furniture. I yeah yeah probably. I you know there's that that um, myth. Where if if you get lost in IKEA long enough, you become an IKEA employee. That myth is true. Did that happen to you? Kind of. It's happened multiple times to me. In the same store. Just live there instead. Just move between the stores. Sweden doesn't move houses; he moves IKEA. <laughs> It has everything you need to live. I became the CEO of IKEA. That is true. Any games we like. I still like that board game one that almost turned us to yeah. death. Which is a mix of teamwork and tearing each other apart. And total fuckery. Um. Everyone was always fixed in the brothel. He's like, oh, you're going to the brothel? I want to go to the brothel. Why don't I get to go to the brothel? And then there were the STD movies. Oh, yeah, the, and the time, time traveling condom or whatever. Hey, at least there was a barbarian option. True. You know, was fishing. I know my son is here, but we're talking about things he shouldn't know about, and if he does, that's his own fault. You gotta leave. You gotta get out of here. Go to bed, Zealand. It's late. Well, I didn't teach you these things. Finland didn't teach you these things. It's not our problem that you know what these are. 
<laughs> we can talk about them, but whether you understand them or not. It's an, that's entirely on you. Cards Against Humanity is another amusing one to play. Oh god. I, I, I remember Iceland, whenever we play them, he, whenever he gets a blank card, he changes it to Denmark. I'd normally pick them. I think we all do, except Denmark. <laughs> Denmark's the only one. Why would I do myself? Because sometimes in context, it, it fits. It, it, it does fit sometimes. I mean, sometimes it makes no sense in the circle here because of Denmark, but also sometimes it actually really fits. You just need to say one nice thing about each other. Okay. Um. Is this like a therapy thing? Do we need therapy? I wouldn't say our relationship's that bad. Maybe individually, but not as a group. In Denmark. No. Denmark is not the dad of this group. Um, I mean, we should still answer that question. The order on my screen is me, Norway, and then Denmark. If we want to do it like that. Sure. Um, Norway is amazing at magic. Like, th there's regular magic users, and then Norway's the ceiling. It's, that's like, that's the level. Denmark is lovable. Like, he forces you to love him. Even when you want to hate his guts, he forces you to love him. That's that's my, my nice thing about each other. You also in Norway? Um. <clears throat> See, I had one for you, Sweden, but then I remembered an argument we always have. So I can't use that anymore. What argument? About, um, the glasses. Oh! Yeah, that argument. Um, anyway, um, you don't generally make me angry. I can hang around you for long periods of time and not get angry. That's, that's good. It, it I, I don't know how to make it sound nice, but that's one of the nicest things I can think of right now. Um, Denmark's kind of the opposite, but also he won't leave you alone until you're happier. Which is a good thing, I guess. The lovable in the annoying way, this is how you prove it. Yeah. It's like, you're upset. Don't tell me to go away. I, I will stay here until you're happier. Oh, okay. Nice thing. Um, Sweden is very good at making a lot of useless furniture no one will ever use, and piling it up somewhere, I don't know where. My garage. Just putting it there. Um, that's wonderful in its own really weird, economically unsatisfying way. <laughs> Norway. Um, let Just sorting through all of us. I'm making things. Just pick one. Um, he has this dry kind of sense of humor that, like, he'll put it out there and it'll take you a couple seconds, but when you do, it's hilarious. So that's always fun. I don't think Finland was satisfied for your answer for me. <laughs> I'm quite happy with mine. Back. What are you doing? I was opening it. Oh. 
I just couldn't see what your arm was doing. You're like, oh, you're trying to shove something in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be. That wouldn't be fun. Sorry, Dan. Go on. Or were you going to say something nicer than the furniture on economic or not? No. It's um raspberry and orange, and it's. Two servings of fruits and vegetables. That reminds me of a drink I had um, when I was visiting Denmark once. Was it good? It was actually. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to enjoy it. <laughs> Denmark's smug little face over in the corner. <laughs> See, that's like me. You aren't expecting to enjoy my company, but then you do. And you're surprised. Sometimes. Sometimes. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, I was right on this interaction. It wasn't enjoyable. Um, what's po poi po pi po what, what is that? Is that the whole, like... That's caramel dancing. That's different. Sweden would not like, I know what caramel dancing is. I'm, I'm aware, and I can do that. But I don't know what po pee po is. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm googling it. Because you guys are on chairs, but I'm sitting on the floor. So <laughs> I don't have a chair in here. You're right? just weird. It's the vegetable... It's the vegetable juice dance song. The answer is probably not. It's my answer to would I dance to this? Probably not. I'm actually not on a chair. I'm sitting on a dictionary. So. I'm, the, a dictionary. <laughs> I'm the only one sitting on a chair. I'm like... Oh. And for a while I just had like one leg kicked out to the side and I didn't know why. Oh. oh. This is my chair. You can, can you see it? There we go. I'm kidding on the dictionary, so I can't really move it. It's there. It's question, aren't you? No, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's, um... I mean, it is is the month of love, or, or so they say. I actually forgot it was still February. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I like I like crushes, but only the orange kind. Like orange crush, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> it beats right. I'm a but fan of good. orange crush as well. Cherry mm -hmm. is bad though. I don't like it. I don't mind the cherry. I'm not a fan of the grape. I will drink it, but I'm not a fan of the grape. you guys get anything for Valentine's? Well, Vanessa, you know that I did, in fact, get something for Valentine's. So. Um. Kind of. I mean, I went on a date with Finland, but. I don't see what your difference is. Well, it's... 
it, it isn't. Oh yeah, you got me chocolate, and I gave you roses. Um, yeah, there we go. I'd forgotten. There was so much going on on Valentine's Day. What about you, Denmark? I got a letter from my boss saying I could have the day off. <laughs> that is good. At least you went on a Lego date. Oh, right, yes. <coughs> went on a lot of Lego dates. I'm not sure if it was this time last year it happened, or whether it was just last year, but I remember that happened. What happened? Lego date on Valentine's? That was last year, yeah, we had it on last year. On Valentine's Day last year, like the 14th. Or something. Was I there? No. It was a different Denmark. That feel though. Uh, it's probably something important, like, hey, you're gonna do this for work tomorrow, but. Who goes to work? Sweden parenting advice. Go. Um. Don't be too harsh, but don't be too easygoing. Because if you get too easygoing, they'll walk all over you, and if you get too harsh, they'll lock themselves away from you and never want to speak to you again. Try and find a middle ground. Yeah. Try and find a middle ground. Set some hard rules. Remember they are people. That's important. Remember that they are also fully functioning people. Um... So, yes, find a middle ground, don't be demeaning. That's my advice. Can I just say, the phone I thought was across from the room turned out right next to me. <laughs> I'm sure I just teleported it there. 100%. Am I a good parent? I'm sure I've had it over there. Am I a good parent because I had to help look after Denmark? Even though I am, I am, in fact, younger than Denmark, I did have to deal with him being incredibly inappropriate for his age. So, yes. Have a fun time. It's really. Guys and tips about telling an old enemy that you love them. Do what I did with Denmark after after things happened. Oh, I was about to say we eat the same food at the same time or whatever. <laughs> that that is the sign of love. I can't remember what I was gonna say. I got lost while my trainer of thought went away. I'm sorry. Just do what I do with Denmark, hit him with something, say, yo, you're kind of a dick, but I like you, kinda. Let's say, you can't just, like, um, if the enemy status is still ongoing, you can't just suddenly go, like, you know, I really love you. You gotta stop that first. And, um... Maybe do something for retribution for the stuff that you have done directly to them. Because that doesn't really work. I think... Is it Hungary, Romania? I, I think it might be, but I, I think, um, I think Romania might be at a long shot. It's not. Well, in that case, you're out of luck. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> Have fun with that. Sorry. Yeah, no, we're not. We're not getting into that. Yeah, I'd rather not die. Thank you. I dealt with that enough not in the sixth century. Country. We're not. We're sixteenth century. Sorry, we're we're not doing you. that. Um, 
do I want to be the good cop or bad cop? <laughs> I didn't know you were a cop, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna admit. Five. Okay. Um. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, in what situation would I ever be a good cop? Like, it's okay, you don't worry, you know. That, that just wouldn't happen. I would not be able to pull it off. Even with Iceland, I wouldn't be able to. Just because he'd be like, what is wrong with you? You're scaring me. And then I'd be the bad cop immediately. By trying to be the good cop. You would get really unnerved. Yeah. yeah. I mean, admittedly, I think we all would be incredibly unnerved if Norway started acting smiley and nice. I would leave my country. I'd go to Ikea. So it's... So it's this that keeps you guys here, the yeah. lack of smile. Well, we like making you smile on occasion, like if you smile at a joke or something Denmark, something stupid Denmark's done, but smiling without that is incredibly unnerving. Please don't. Gotcha, gotcha. I'd use it if I want to be alone, but besides that. Best use for oh smiles. I just, I just looked at the time. Oh! Like, how is it this time already? Oh! Thank you for telling me to look at the time. Otherwise, I would have forgotten the thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, uh, I just looked over at it. I don't know, we didn't talk before this one, which was strange for us. Yeah, normally we we talk... A lot. Yeah, normally... It like a, a week. Yeah, but we didn't this time, so this was just out of the blue. I think it's because we didn't have Iceland and Finland, so it's like... <laughs> is it actually playing? Because on mine it's not playing. It is. Oh god. I don't know what's going on then. Because it's not going to be It's... Okay, I'm, I'm going to look at it in a different path. Okay. <laughs> it's just the actual song. Because... <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> the intro. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I just started listening to it. Do you understand why we were like, what? <laughs> Yep, I got it. Why does that happen?
kind of unnerves me that I'm listening to an entirely different part of the song than you guys, so I don't want to sing along. <laughs> okay, ours has just ended. It was terrifying. Oh, I'm... It's okay. We still have a few minutes. It just started chanting again on my <laughs> Yeah, that's almost the end. The chanting was what threw me off, because I'm like, is this the right song which I chose? Because I've never heard that song before. Especially the chanting. Yeah, you just chose it, and just like, oh. Yeah, I was like... I've just, I don't know most of the songs which are chosen for the comp, so I just, I just hope that, that I've picked the right one. Yeah, it was some Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I actually still haven't seen that. You should. It's pretty good. I will want to get the time. Like, literally after this, I've got so much paperwork to do. I feel. Oh, will we be able to make it to uh, the desert? Oh, yeah. We, probably. Okay. Wait, have we got one? Yes. Oh, what time? We're not sure yet. What time? Because you know my time. Oh, God. Can't be first one because yeah, first. No. Uh, would. 11 Eastern work for you? Would you be able to do that one? Possibly? What time is that? Uh, 4. 4 a.m. Yeah. 4 a.m. I mean, I'll probably still be up because I'll be talking to Vendetta. So is that a yes, possibly? Yeah, they just messaged me with I'll keep you up and the love heart, so I'm okay. so scared. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go try and find a pie, so I'm gonna go. Yeah. Oh, so. I can't wait to see how your day goes. Cannot wait. Okay, I'm also gonna go so I can do a quick change. Um, so. 